okay, you, you said some, you know, the way you were talking, like you had personal knowledge of Adonis Paul's life. You don't know anything about that man. You don't know anything about him. But I'm going to tell you something. When I hear people talk, I listen with the, my, my soul, my spirit talks to me. And I'm going to tell you this. His actions, his words, you crossed the line when you went after his daughter like that. And to you, it's nothing because children mean nothing to you. You don't care. You've got, there is videos out there where you're proclaiming to destroy their futures. I showed you how one of my grand boys started out in the NICU with tubes. That's how I met him. And you, it just didn't register to you that he he fought to live. And here, here comes Mary. Miss Suicidal Mary. Gonna kill herself every day. Gonna use her crippled brother, but yet has never done nothing with what she had. Who never honored him by running for him. Never used her mind to do something worthy for him because he couldn't. You didn't even never think about doing anything that he couldn't. You know what you thought about? I got to go. I got to get out of here and go to go to he haunts and, and get whatever I can get because that's what you did. When you were little, you learned and adapted to getting what you want by crying it started out with the crying and the little temper tantrums then you went on up to hurting yourself no excuse me you went to pouring hot wax on yourself that's when i took you to a mental health place I, don't ever say that i didn't do anything because i did and i'm sure i could find something to prove that but i have to be careful because of hipaa i wouldn't do that you know i I'd do it to you, but I'm not going to do that to me because I don't want to get in trouble. But, you know, you were just just using your little brother, like, for profit. And what upset you the most is he, was t he used a small segment to talk about you, which is, I mean, you do it. You're the one on here acting a fool, lying when people can look it up at, and and see that you're just somebody who's wanting money, begging for money, begging for everything. But, you know, this, my daughter, who was good to you every time she met you and seen you, who went with me to everything that was going on in Florida that I needed to be at. When, when when mom needed a ride to a funeral, who went down there? Myself, my daughter, and Martha, my sister. And we took care of her. And how'd you, what'd you do? You disgraced her. You tore her apart because she wasn't here to, to defend herself or to come and find you. You, you wanted to make sure you picked... Pick on people that can't get to you. That's what you do. She, you, you have the nerve to say of anything about people saying anything about your brother, but yet you tore my deceased daughter up. You lied in your book about my entire family. Everything in it was a lie, Mary, a lie. Your true story was a lie. You're a liar. But you, I finished this for everybody else, not particularly you, but I finished this little angel painter because I thought it resembled the picture there, and I'm going to send it to my grandson in Montana, you know, so he can, re you know, just remember his mama. You say I didn't have anything to do with my mother. Well, you know, going through pictures, I have found so many pictures, you know, and I'm grateful that I have them of 
her being here with me or us being down there, you know, with her. You know, you say I'm heartless and cruel. <clears throat> no. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Who I am, Mary, and what I stand for is in these pictures. <laughs> my my family, my my heart, my heart. These these is my heart. This is I mean I, everything I have ever done is for them. Everything that created me, what makes me me, is all right here. This is part of my life. My son riding horses. Sarah, Sarah being born. Mom and him coming down and sitting there until she was born. And Larry holding her. You know, this is, this is my heart. This is who I am. This is who I am. Is what you see here. That right there is Zachariah. We were down in Jacksonville. Mom was with us. And we took the two babies to the zoo, Zachariah and, and, you know, the other one that was born two months later. It, <clears throat> this is my heart. You know, when I worked, they are what I worked for. Every dime I made went to my grandchildren and my children. You you can't get that. You, you can't even work for yourself. You can't have, you don't have compassion for your own brother who you use to beg for money. I mean, Lord, how many times were you going to beg for a headstone that had been there for years? You, 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 cre you, you, I guess you're running out of things to beg money for. I mean, you, you're running out of the sympathy thing. There's something wrong with you and it's called laziness. And I'm going to claim mental because I learned that, you know, you can get away with more if you're mental. You sure can, can't you? But you know what? Your day's coming, and I know it, whether I'm around here to see it or not, but your days are coming. This right here is my world, my life. These pictures, these people in these pictures, th this is my life. This, These are who I am. This is who I am. I am a I'm I'm a mom, a grandma to many, to many people. And I truly have a heart that can, just fills up. And I'm grateful. I'm thankful. I feel blessed. I feel like, you know, I need to be doing something to make sure that it honors the people that have stood by, by me and and trust, you know, have believed that I am not what you say, because that really, it does bother me. I'm really, it's really important to me not to leave what you're leaving. You're leaving nothing. You have dishonored your brother, dishonored your family, dishonored your grandmother, dishonored the man that you called Papa. You have disgraced and tore down all of the things in this world that is precious. And I'm not talking about money at all. You know, I, I somewhere in here, I come across our first home here. A single white trailer. We worked and set a goal and, and achieved that goal. Nowadays, I just try to achieve the goal of getting through a day. Without part of my heart here. You bully and you harass and you have blackmailed. You have done every trick in the book to keep the truth away. You have. And if anyone went back and looked, they'd see how many things that you have tried to do and say to me. And now you've just made a personal attack to someone who actually has an, a very entertaining pro. He really is entertaining. He he makes it. He brings a smile. All of them do. Virgie, all of them. JJ, 
day wave. You, you don't get it. You know, you make a person who has feelings sometimes like I do, where I, I just want to be with my daughter and my mom. I want my life back the way it was. It'll never be that way again. So when I watch them, it brings me out of the place that I am in, like therapy. And it makes me smile, and I catch myself laughing. And it makes me want to try so much harder to bring back the life that we had. You, you're an advertisement for depression and sadness. And here, you might as well just kill yourself. You know, that's all you can say and do is, is try to let people know that there's just no hope in this world because you didn't get someone to give you something. You provide nothing and you expect everything. So look at her and know that you tried to disgrace her and her memory. And you have tried to leave your words for her two boys whose memories of her ended that day that she left. And from that day forward, it was my job to fulfill New, get them memories in them so they don't ever forget. I, I don't expect you to understand, but I believe other people will. This is who I am. Show the world, Mary, who you are. Take a little scan of who you are. Show us the proof that you deserved those legs that you have that your brother didn't. Show us the proof that you deserve to eat with the hands that your brother couldn't. Show us why you can walk and he couldn't. And don't go blaming nobody because you can't prove nothing so it means nothing. You know, I've had to research that and go back in my mind to talk to your mother. You know, I don't care what anybody says. The truth is still the truth. It's not going to change. Now, you can twist and turn, but it's going to stay the same. <laughs>